everyone, my name is Terry Lee, and this is video two of the, uh, it's going to be a two-part uh, series on making, wow, I lost the original, isn't that nice, there it is, <laughs> I have too much stuff on my desk right now, so the original is this folio, um, that opens up and it's got a notebook and stuff inside if you want to see more about the um, prototype you can watch part one on YouTube hopefully if it ever gets done uploading it's been trying to upload all day so what we've done so far is we've um, cut up our envelopes and made our folio and then we've um, hopefully you have painted all the way around the edges then you have uh, measured and cut your papers and numbered them to match the number that I had you put in each section. Now in the original in, in part, and in part one I had said I was going to do like I did in this one which is a solid piece of paper all the way across with the, uh, the gusset mark there so that uh, it would fold without creep without crinkling up but this time I decided to go ahead well a I went ahead and and had painted the gusset area so um, I uh, decided to go ahead and do two different pictures instead of just the one long one all the way across I've also changed which pictures go where I'm not using the exact same ones as in the first one and I'm changing where the fussy cut page is going to be. I'm going to uh, show you section by section what I did. Um, like I said, I did glue a couple on already just for time's sake. And I may not glue every single one on before the end of the video because you know how to glue on paper, I'm thinking. But I do want to show you real quick. I had this... Um, medicine box little box that my medicine came in and I thought oh eat me drink me right medicine so I made a little book it's going to be a little companion book to go with this and this is going to be the cover and then um, these are going to go inside little Tweedledum and Tweedledee and a couple other little pictures um, and, oh, I know what else I did. I remembered to ink everything up this time. So it looks better around the edges when it's glued down. Now the giant paper clip is holding the picture on the other side. Because I haven't glued on the cover or anything yet. Now a note, I um, had gone ahead and glued this on. I haven't, oh, I haven't glued this one. So what we're going to do right now is... Um, we're going to glue the papers to the corresponding numbered sections and we're going to make the booklet. So this is the what I fussy cut out for this one. I did the Drink Me and the Mad Hatter. And um, so we're going to glue that here. This is number three from video one. We numbered them. And this is number this is number three. I guess it would help if I held it on camera. I have these big orange squares so I know where you can see your rectangles. And then I turn around and I hold it over my lap. <laughs> I've been having a day. Video one has been uploading since six o'clock this morning and it's still only at 35%. And I've stopped it and started it three times already thinking maybe it was just hung up. So anyway, all right, so let's um, glue these on here. That's very close to coming apart. And um, and then we'll glue the page down. I had printed these off on a page that was a misprint, so that way I didn't waste the paper. So I'm going to put him... Let's see. I'm trying to decide if I want to put him at an angle. You know, kind of like this. I think if I did that, I would put him like this. I think so. Because this kind of looks like it should go this way. So let's do that that way real quick. 
and I make sure to glue this little skinny part that looks like it's about ready to come apart because it's moving a lot. Okay, we're going to do that. The doctor finally called me back about my headache. I don't know if you guys know, but I've had a headache for 10 weeks. And I've had some tests done and they came back normal. And so they did x-rays of my neck and they think maybe that's it because it's not so good. <laughs> so maybe I'll finally get rid of this headache and I'll be able to concentrate enough to... Uh, get stuff done. All right, so I've got the paper clips here. So let's go ahead and glue him down. Now, the gusset is right here. You can't really see it on camera because we've painted them black. But I want it you can see this one's a little bit away from it. You don't want it to bind plus wanted the the black all the way around. I almost said purple. I do not know why I was going to say purple. And go around. I'm not big on these kind of papers that aren't going to get too much wear and tear about gluing them all the way across the center. You know, with the big zigzag, zigzag and all that. Um, with this Fabrifix, it works really well, especially with paper. And uh, if you just do the edges, you can kind of smunch it around a little bit and get it where you want. And you want to, this one you want to center between the two gussets and this time I left a little space at the top and the bottom not just the left and the right so now he's on there oh I just bent my teacup I'm gonna or teapot I'm gonna have to go back and make sure I got all the glue down on that I thought I glued it all right so that's that and then we're gonna have this section and I'm gonna do this one too because I wanted to show you I wanted to show you something, which is uh, either way, whether you did it as one section or two. Um, so this ended up being section six because I added it last, um, even though it's in the spot that if we had numbered them in order, it would have been number four, starting with one on the left. Uh, because this one you want to make sure when you glue it it goes up under where the edge of the pocket is going to fold. You'll notice I didn't do it all the way around um, because it's a pocket so when you fold it over no one's gonna no one's gonna hear you scream. <laughs> anyway all right so we're gonna center that there and as long as this covers this, the end of it, then you're, you're going to be fine. Now, we want to take this. Let me fold this up. And the easiest way to do that is to flip this over and lay it flat. And then glue it on. Now, I had made a mistake. Yeah, see, this is a little bit too wide. I thought I had cut it narrow enough. Let me take a sliver, a sliver off. Hold on. My cutter is, or, yeah, my paper cutter is off, off screen. So I'm over here while you're over there. So don't do anything I wouldn't do while you're over there. Now, I have to remember now that the edge is white to do this real quick, which is another reason I wished I had done it on the first one because you don't see that white edge. Yeah, so that looks good. Now remember, you have a hinge. I mean, it's going to... See what I almost did? Did you guys see that? All right. I almost glued the pocket to the front instead of the inside. It takes a minute to get this going. It gets that air bubble in there. This is way better than leaving it in the original bottle, though. It does not volcano out doing it this way. Well, I actually did have it happen once. And the reason it's gunky now is because I kind of drag it on the paper. So 
so much glue doesn't come out all at once. All right, so we're gonna glue the paper on here. Make sure you're gluing it on the right side of the page. Move that over just a smidge. There we go. And see, now this matches the paper on here. And I don't know if anybody noticed or not, but I glued this paper on upside down. I wonder if I can still get it off and glue it back down. Because it hasn't had time to set up. So see, apparently I cannot walk and chew gum at the same time. Or as the case may be, talk and chew gum. Now I can do the ink or the glue on here now because I know where it's going to go. I can't believe I did that, but I'm glad I caught it before it was too late. How come you guys didn't tell me right away? <laughs> you were all probably going, no! I put a little extra glue on it this time to kind of hold it down where I had pulled on it. Making sure to keep the gusset area clear. And now for this section, we're just going to glue here and here, just here and here to make the pocket. I forgot to set something aside to put in the pocket. But you guys know you can just put a tag or a writing card or anything in there that you want. And you just fold that over and it makes that long pocket. There's that extra paper there and there's paper on the top. You may have to hold it for just a second to make sure that you've got everything, got everything glued down. Okay, and so I had some extra stuff. You know, this one's white on the back. Um, actually, I don't remember which one. I had one set aside that I wanted to do. Maybe it was this one, but um, I don't remember it being that one. Maybe that's it. Now that little sliver that I cut off, I'm gonna save. I have a whole stack here of little pieces, a whole stack. Um, and the reason I keep them is because if you wanna make a handmade a uh, little card or something like I did on this side. This little card right here that I haven't glued on yet is, uh, this is a collage. You know, I put this together out of strips and a plain background. And um, this, this already had stuff printed on the back. This is the one I was going to do. All right, so I wanted to put, let's just stick this in here temporarily so you can see that you can put something in there. Now, this is some of that sprayed paper that we're going to use in the notebook. Put on my paper clips. Let's see, let's put my little bitty book out of the way. But anyway, when that idea popped in my head, I thought, oh boy, that sounds like a fun idea. And it only took me, I don't know. 45 minutes to, to get that far and all I have to do is do the covers and so there's two little signatures that I'm going to sew in. Um, this goes here. I guess I took off too many paper clips. So now the best way to glue writing paper on the back of a card like this is to put the glue on the card. She says confidently, put the glue on the card. And this you're going to want to go ahead and glue in the center. You're going to want to use uh, Fabrifix, Fabri-Tac, something. You don't want to use a white glue like Elmer's glue or anything like that um, because it will wrinkle your paper. 
because it's water-based. Okay, so you're just gonna, the best way is to stick it right up against the edge because that's one edge. Oh, let's stick it to two edges there. That's two edges you won't have to cut. Okay, so we're gonna glue it down. Instead of trying to cut the paper to fit the card, we glue the card to the paper and then just trim around it. I'm not having very good luck. Okay, and so now all we have to do is cut this without cutting the card or I'm going to have to ink around it again. Yeah, it looks like I did get a sliver of it. So I'll just ink around it again. It'll help cover up the edge of the paper as well. And then you just cut it around. And that's the easiest way to do that. So now you have a writing card. I'm just going to ink around the edges real quick. That will take that white edge away from the paper and also from where I accidentally trimmed the edge of the card just a little, shaved a little bit off. I don't know why this is, the card itself is looking warped. I'm not really sure why it wasn't from doing this because I kind of noticed it right before we were going to do it. So, and I used the same glue when I glued this on, so I'm not really sure why. And I'm trying to decide whether I want to glue this down in here or I'm going off the page again, whether I want to glue it down in here or whether I want to make some kind of a custom paper clip to go on there. I do need to glue this page on. Now, I made a mistake on here. Um, this envelope tapers and um, the first paper I had, this was not, this doesn't go with this kit, but I, I had it from another one and um, I remembered it. So I didn't have to cut up another one from this kit. Uh, this one was already cut almost exactly this size. So I decided to go ahead, but you'll notice the uh, corner still a little rounded on that. And um, the corner I had on the other one, the original one I was going to put on that page was squared. And um, this doesn't go all the way to the corner. So all I had to do was round it just a little bit right there. And when I did the other one, um, I had a miscut. And so I had to take it off. Now, I, this is a little more forgiving because the edge of the, on the top there is black. So it's kind of hard to see, you know, anything that's a mistake. Now, remember when you've got your fold right here, so you want to stay back far enough from the edge of your uh, tape. You don't have to go all the way back to the edge of the tape. You just need to make sure that the seam right there will open and close. Okay. And let's see, this is the back. Oh, this is number five. Number five, number five. So we'll put this one on here. And then I think we'll go on to making the booklet because I'm pretty sure that gluing three more pages it's just probably more excitement than you guys can bear, huh? Because <laughs> the cover picture and the back picture are the same as the ones on the, on the original anyway. So you already know what it looks like. But the inside I had changed the pictures and the paper and everything. So I kind of wanted to show you that. And I also wanted to show you these kind of little tricky measurement areas to make sure that your papers fit. Now this one curves here, obviously, because it's the other side. So I did trim it a little bit. Um, I should have rounded that corner a little bit more, but 
I didn't want to miscut this one and, you know, buy a lot and um, not be able to use it because I decided to use this, uh, this rabbit here. All right, so now I've got this one and this one. This is going to have this card on it. Okay, so let's paper clip the card on here. I think I might use um, a paper clip. Let's see, I've got one right here that I can show you. Hopefully I won't yank my mic off of my shirt reaching over here. I've showed these in a couple other videos before. This is a altered paper clips. Now, this is just a piece of news, uh, book paper, paper wrapped around into a tube. Then you s glue the picture on. And what I did is I hooked another paper clip through this paper clip and had it hang down. And these are Tim Holtz. So there's two hands pointing down and points down to the card. And then you just um, paper clip it on like, like you would normally. My dog has lost his mind. The neighbors came down the stairs. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do here. But I'll use some of the um, Alice paper. And then I can't yell at him to be quiet because of this mic. So I'm not really sure what he's barking at. But he's kind of irritating me. All right. Oz, no barking. I don't think he can hear me. Anyway. Oh, maybe so. Um, so now to make the notebook. All right. All right. I think he's done. Book. I did end up having to pause this and go yell at him in case you're wondering. For the notebook, what I did was I printed off a piece of um, cardstock front and back. Then I used the um, scoreboard and I scored a line there so that I, it would fold easier. Like we used the scoreboard in the first video. And then I took some of my um, hand sprayed paper and the paper is or the, the the cover is 10 by seven and three quarters i decided to make it bigger this time and then i added uh seven pieces of paper instead of five and now this is not a very big notebook so to attach this i'm not gonna use a um a uh pamphlet stitch what I'm going to do is I'm going to staple it. And I'm going to show you how. This is a piece of foam that came in a package. So I'm going to lay it down. Now you're going to want the smooth side of the stapler on this side. And then what you're going to do is you're going to lay it on here like this with the crease in the papers and everything all lined up. Then you're going to open up your stapler. And you're just going to line it up and you're going to staple down. And you'll notice it's now stapled to the styrofoam. You just, but you need to have something soft. Okay. And then you kind of carefully pull it up, you flip it over, and then you just manually fold the staples over. And believe it or not, it works a lot better using your fingers than your fingernails. I'm not really sure why. My uh, A-L-E-X-A just dinged for some reason. All right, now I have this card that I'm going to put on the front. And then I think I had said to you guys that I was going to... Uh, also decorate the inside and I'm going to decorate the back again but um, I'm not sure it I probably put something you know solid on the back something long 
Now this is a spare piece of paper. This is not a tag or anything, but I'll probably put something like this on the back. And then I'm going to fussy cut something out for here and then fussy cut something out for there like I did here. But the main thing was the construction of the notebook. All right. So I'm going to paper clip this back on here so I don't lose it amongst the stuff. This is kind of driving me nuts, all this stuff sitting everywhere. I hope you know that. I just want you guys to know how upsetting it is to me. <laughs> See, my scissors aren't where they belong. It's mayhem over here. Anyway, okay, so I'm going to put that piece of paper back. See, I had this ephemera. Oh, this kit comes with a bunch of ephemera. And so I printed it out at, um, I, I altered this in Publisher. Remember in the first video I mentioned um, how you can, there, I made a video on how you can manipulate the pictures in Publisher to make them whatever size you want. And this kind of wastes paper, but um, I printed these out at 80% because I thought they were too big. So now I have all this stuff I can pick from. See, I can cut this out and decorate it on the back like I did, except the, um, the uh, notebook is bigger than the other notebook. So I, I still think it would be all right to do that or, or do another couple tags or something and glue them on for decoration. Um, there's all kinds of things you could do. You could put some kind of a black border around on the inside so that you could see it stick out around the edges. Um, you could use a little bit of black lace, um, anything like that. So now all we have left to do, like, yep, looks to me like the only thing we have left to do is to put this on so you're just going to need double the the length of your book because you want this this is going you want it to be a little tight not enough that it bends the top and bottom of your um cuz remember it stretches and that's what we want um not, it's not going to be enough that the tension bends this in because remember it's just an envelope if you wanted to reinforce it um with some of this tape or whatever uh before you um paint it you could do that um i didn't think to do it and you can decorate this pocket as well it just depends on what you know the um the decorating is you know kind of up to you and and also uh, whatever kit you're using I actually did make this a little tight I'll do it for demonstration purposes and then I'll yeah like I'm gonna be able to tie that with that little bit sticking through I can't get a hold of it because I made it too short All right, so you tie the you tie the elastic thread around there, and then it works like this, and you can slide the notebook in and out, and this holding it through. You just have the middle of the notebook, and you stick it in here, and then you can take it out. So if you fill this completely up, just make a new cover slide another one in and then you're good to go you could take it on your next uh, vacation or whatever to be able to um, write yourself notes so once you've made your notebook and you got your pocket you got your fussy cut on there and your homemade collage tag or something else I, I like adding stuff that isn't the exact stuff that's in the kit um, then you're going to close it like this and you're going to close it like this and you'll have your um, your front glued on and you'll have your back glued on and then you'll be done and then it'll look just like this one only with your own pictures 
right? And open like this and like this and then like this. And then you'll have your notebook, you'll have your pocket, you'll have your little writing cards or whatever it is that you decide to put in there, a tag or something. And then um, you will uh, be good to go. It'd be a nice little gift to give someone uh, to take on their vacation and um, be able to take, you know, notes and stuff. Now, I'm really not sure why I have so much trouble getting this in here so that it doesn't catch. I don't know. Anyway, just a thing. Maybe I glued the envelope crooked or something. I don't know. There we go. Um, and so that's it. There's your fussy cutting. I put it on a different page. And that uh, folds up like that. And there you go. So I think that's it. I think we're all done with this. And um, I will see you next time. And that will be just a second for you and a day for me. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.